welcome. Uh, da, da, da. And welcome Facebook. Uh, so welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 13, oh, day 12, day 12 of uh, MOVE. And um, yes, yeah, Sunday, we usually spend, we always spend uh, time on the floor. We don't tend to stand up. And today we'll be moving into hip, uh, rib mobility and side body. So it'll be very yum. Um, so come lie on the floor, come, come. Come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent, and your feet are flat on the floor. And just reach your arms out wide and begin by just rocking your knees from side to side. So this will already begin to move our rib cage. So see if you can feel not only how your hips are moving and the lower back, but how this is moving up into the sides of the waist, into the rib cage, and even up into the armpits as you sway your knees from side to side. Nice, stretch your legs out long and reach your arms overhead and then walk your feet over towards the right and just move your arms a little bit over towards the right so you become a human banana and just feel the length of the left side of your body and then kind of yawn or reach or stretch into it like you're awakening or lengthening into it a little bit more. Nice, come back to center. And then come to the other side. So walk your feet over towards the left. Walk your arms a little bit over towards the left. And then yawn into it. Reach into it. Just feel that you engage through the right side of your body. Nice. One more time each side. Walk your feet to the right. Walk your arms to the right. And just breathe into it. Maybe if you want to, you can hold on to your left wrist with your right hand you can cross your left foot over the right ankle and just breathe into the length you're creating nice back to center we'll walk the other way over towards the left you're bananaing your body <laughs> hold on to the right wrist with your left hand pull a little bit Cross your right ankle over the top of the left. And just breathe and lengthen and just feel that opening. Nice. And then walk back to center. Both feet to the floor. Draw your right knee up towards you. Squeeze it in. Nice. And then release your leg and stretch it long. And try and touch the like the wall down beyond your toes, really pointing into your right foot. And then draw your knee up towards you. And then stretch super long. And I'm letting my whole body follow my leg. So I am actually side bending into the body as I do this. One more time. Draw the right knee up towards you, squeezing it in. And then stretch the right leg long. Point into your toes like you're trying to touch the wall beyond you. Bend your knee, bring your foot to the floor. Other side, squeeze the left knee up towards you. And stretch the left leg long, pointing into your toes like you're trying to touch something. Bend your knee, draw it up towards you. And then stretch it long like you're trying to touch the floor or the wall way down beyond you. One more time. Bend your knee, pull it in. Stretch your leg long. Nice, bring both feet to the floor. Take your right foot and place it on top of the left knee. Bring your arms wide and brace them into the floor and then begin to rock this shape over towards the left. You can open your right armpit a little bit more up so that your hand is kind of out from your ear a little bit more. My left elbow is bracing into the floor. I'm just feeling how does my rib cage, my armpit, the side of my waist, Mobilize as I rock over and back. I'm using the breath. I'm really feeling into my body as I move. How do I open my rib cage? Nice. Change sides. Push the right elbow into the floor. Bring your left foot up onto your right knee. 
reach the left arm kind of out and long beside you so your arm is out from your ear and then begin to rock towards the right mm, feeling into the rib cage so feel how as your foot goes over your rib cage lifts off the floor and as your knee comes back your rib cage touches the floor so there is movement into the rib cage you can even bring your um, right hand to your rib cage if you want to feel it just feel that there is movement as you rock in as you come out one more time rocking in and back out nice both feet to the floor super so from here reach the right arm overhead and rest it on the floor above you and then roll over onto your right side and rest your head on your right arm and bring your left hand to the floor in front of you from here your two feet are on top of each other your two knees are on top of each other so lift your knee up and toes are touching and then drop your knee down foot is lifting as high as it can just feel that so you're keeping your rib cage steady you're not moving your rib cage as you do this but you're feeling that there's movement in the hip toe to toe knee to knee toe to toe knee to knee nice one more time toe to toe knee to knee now we're going to draw a circle so draw your left knee up towards your shoulder and then roll in a big circle with that left leg right hand left hand is pushing into the floor you feel really solid with that left hand into the floor nice and then roll in the other direction just hearing the waist the leg the hip the buttock the rib cage nice stretch the left leg long and reach the left leg as far as you can and as you reach lift your right rib cage off the floor and then bend your left knee and bring it up towards your elbow stretch your left leg long and let your rib cage lift underneath i'm kind of like a i've popped off the floor underneath bend your knee bring it to your elbow and when you bend your knee and bring it to your elbow your ribs should be touching the floor again it'll happen naturally stretch your leg bend your knee stretch your leg and bend your knee nice how cool so bring your knee to knee and bring your fingers to the top of your head so your my fingertips are touching the side of the left side of my head and then I'm going to roll onto my back and imagine that I can bring my left shoulder left elbow even the the back of my head to the floor and then roll so that your elbow comes to the floor in front of you so my knees are staying really stuck together and I'm just rolling my left elbow back and then my left elbow forward left elbow back left elbow forward now we're going to mix it up a bit so as you draw your left elbow back draw your left knee forward and as you draw your left elbow forward and draw your left leg back so you're doing um a version of what's this one called <laughs> I'm having a complete blank. Keep doing it. You don't need to know the name. <laughs> Great. One more time. Elbow goes back. Knee goes forward. Come lie on your back. Pause there. Nice. Reach the left arm overhead. Drop both knees over towards the left and bring your right hand to the floor. And so I just lifted my rib cage up because I want it to be more flat on the side of my body. So I'm not on the back of my body. I'm really on the side of it. Nice. And then from here, toe to toe, knee high, knee to knee, toes high. Toe to toe, knee high. <laughs> it feels like Chinese or something. Knee to knee, foot high. Toe to toe, knee high. <laughs> <laughs> knee to knee foot high it's amazing how how the sounds we make toe to toe knee to knee how language is so incredibly yeah, it's amazing i'm just having a moment of 
So beautiful sounds coming from us. So knee to knee, uh, toe to toe. Nice, knee to knee and toe to toe. Super, from here, draw a big circle with your knee as you circle. Just feel that in the hip. Keep your right hand solid on the floor. That's gonna keep your rib cage and the upper shoulder stable. And then circle in the other direction. There's certain parts of this circle that I can really feel my hip opening into. Nice. From here, stretch the right leg long. Try and touch the floor as far away from you as you can. Your rib cage is going to lift off the floor. And then bend your knee, draw your knee up towards your elbow. Your rib cage lands on the floor. Reach your toes, rib cage lifts. Bend your knee, rib cage lands. Reach and bend your knee. One last time reach really long into that leg rib cage is high and then bend your knee nice bring knee to knee foot to foot bring your fingers to the side of your head and then drop your elbow backwards so that your whole back of the body is resting on the floor as much as possible so my shoulders are my lower back and mid back there's no way they're coming down because my knees are stuck together and then bring your elbow forward and touch the floor as far out as you can Nice. Elbow goes back. Elbow goes forward. Nice. Elbow goes back. One more time. Elbow goes forward. So now we're going to shake it up. As my elbow goes back, bring your knee forward. As your elbow goes forward, bring your knee back. So begin to glide. Propellers. I think this is propellers. Is that the name we call this? Always making up names, it's great. So knee forward, elbow back. Knee back, elbow forward. One more time. Knee forward, elbow back. Knee back, elbow forward. Nice, come lie on your back and just pause there. Pause for a moment. Nice, come sit up on your bum with your legs long in front of you. So if you run a lot, if you, if you, even if you walk a lot, just sitting on the floor is challenging for your legs and your spine. So if you want to put something just underneath your bum, you can. Just a little pillow, a book, um, a yoga block, a rolled up, you can roll up your yoga mat and sit on it. Um, it'll just change, it'll just soften the, the stretch into the back of your legs and into your lower back. Bring your feet wide. And so we're going to start with seaweed arms. So seaweed arms is where you, like I bring the right hand and it's like I'm dragging it through water in front of me. And then I bring the left hand and it's like I'm dragging it through water. And I'm swaying my torso or I'm swinging my arms. And the, as I turn towards the right, my right elbow pulls back and then it swings around behind me. So there's this very feels like a really graceful dance with my arms and just feel that the rib cage is moving your shoulders are moving there is motion all the way down into your sit bones nice and then country dancing so country dancing start out with two thumbs and then reach your right elbow up and your left thumb down towards the floor and then change reach your left elbow up and your right thumb down towards the floor and then just feel like I always feel like when I'm doing country dancing, this one's for you, Peter. I know you love this one. Um, when I'm doing this, it always feels like I'm able to scratch the itch of the back of my rib cage. It's like gliding the scapula on the back of my rib cage feels so delicious. Yeah, it's really awesome. So lifting your elbow high. I'm really exaggerating the length into the waist, the lifting of your shoulders. Nice. Somebody was saying that water washing had a great effect on them. Let's do water washing. So whoosh water, like fling water towards the right foot and then fling water towards the left. So it's like you're whooshing the air or the water towards the one side and then the other side. 
Maybe you're reaching beyond your foot. Maybe you're just pointing towards the foot. Where do you just see? There is natural capacity, you know what I mean? So whatever you're able to do is what you're going to be doing. Nice, one more time each side. Super cool. So bend both knees, your feet are flat on the floor. My feet are maybe around two feet apart. And I'm going to drop both knees down towards the left. From here, bring your left hand to the floor just beyond your knee. And then bring your left elbow down. Reach your right hand so that your thumb, your fingers are on your shoulder. Lift your elbow up, reach your right hand up, and then reach your right arm over your ear. And then we're going to glide. So reach the left hand up towards the ceiling. Pull the right elbow down to your hip. Bring the left hand down, elbow down, reach the right arm over your ear. Um, elbow down to your hip on the right. Reach the left hand up. Hand to the floor, elbow to the floor, reach your arm over long. Nice, one more time. Elbow down to your hip, hear your rib cage as you reach your left hand up. And then bring your left hand to the floor, elbow to the floor, reach your arm overhead. Nice. So just have your left hand on the floor and your arm is overhead. And then turn your chest towards that left thigh and bring the blade of your baby finger to the floor. Pull your elbow back into wing. So my right elbow is pulled back into wing. My left hand is pushing into the floor. And then I chop my baby finger down towards the left. Again, wing, pull your elbow back. And then chop. Hear your rib cage. One more time. Wing, elbow comes back. And chop. Elbow, hand comes down. Nice. Come all the way up. Both knees come up. Both knees down towards the left. Oh, the right, sorry, <laughs> the right. So from here, bring your right hand to the floor, bring your right elbow to the floor, reach your left hand up and then over your ear, side body. Bend your left elbow and let the bending and pulling of your elbow pull you up as you reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Bend, bring your hand to the floor, elbow comes down, lengthen into the left side. If you like you're like chewing gum or you know stretchy stuff reach the right hand up and really feel the elasticity of you right hand down elbow down left arm long feel the boing of you last one reach the right hand up and draw the left elbow down so just bring the right hand to the floor and then pull the left elbow back into wing and then chop your left hand down towards the right. Looking at the hand, pulling your elbow back into wing. And then chop your left hand down. You can drop your forehead down as well if you wish. One more time. Pull your elbow back into wing. And stretch your arm long. Drop your head down. Nice. Come all the way back up. Stretch your legs long. Roll into your ankles. Bend and stretch your knees a few times. We had a rotation in our knees there. Knees love coming back to normal, uh, back to tracking correctly for themselves. Nice, hands to your thighs, roll into your belly, big circle. I really feel that sense of the rib cage moving. You can even bring your hands if you want to, to your rib cage so that you feel the motion of your rib cage and then roll in the other direction. I can't remember which one it was. One of them, one of the months last year, we went really deep into our rib cage. It was really amazing. It's quite amazing how at different stages, each of the different months we've done has focused on different things. Sitting up tall, you can either leave your legs out straight in front of you, you can come into a cross-legged position, and then just turn your eyes towards the right. Just your eyes and deepen the breath down into the right side of your body or go seek a deeper breath it's like you call it from the deep of you it's like is there a yawn or a sigh or a deeper breath and just feel into the right side of your body right side of your face your neck your shoulders the rib cage your belly right leg buttock hip 
Nice. Head back to the eyes back to center. Turn your eyes towards the left. And you see, is there a yawn or a sigh or a deeper breath from the left hand side? Feeling into the side of your face, your neck, your shoulder. This morning, uh, the breath that's emerging, it feels like a pop, like a, like a, um, yeah, like a, a balloon or something pops inside me and then suddenly the breath emerges. It's very interesting. Every day it's different. So nice. Bring your eyes back to center. Just roll your shoulders. Nice. And then in the other direction. And then... Just draw your shoulders backwards. That one's for you, Laura, as always. <laughs> Ending on your shoulders backwards. So you can stay there sitting tall and maybe take a few minutes to meditate or just dwell on the feeling of being in your body. Um, yeah, what a wonderful thing to do. Or lie on the floor and rest. It's Sunday, you can take some time. Or maybe you're doing this tomorrow, Monday. Um, who knows, maybe you're doing it way into the future. <laughs> time traveling here with us today. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, yum, I love Sunday yums on the floor. Um, so yeah, last night on the beach, we had a beach party. It was really quite amazing. Um, my swimming buddies and I, we met up and uh, the midges were so bad that we made up a new yoga move. And I don't know quite how to incorporate this new yoga move, but it's called um, Midgey Kung Fu. <laughs> the midges were so bad that we spent the two hours just like waving ourselves with the top of our lids of our containers. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, and maybe see if you can incorporate Miji Kung, Kung Fu into your day somehow. <laughs> um, great. Oh, it's so lovely. So really, really lovely. Um, ciao, ciao. So yeah, uh, great. Um, so yeah, contact us for anything um, you'd like to know about what we do here. Uh, Craniosacral therapy. Uh, massage therapy, acupuncture, reflexology, polarity therapy, homeopathy, psychotherapy. What else do we do? Oh, and mm, hypnotherapy. Yeah, we've got so many different things going on. So contact us and we can put you in contact with the different therapists who work here or the different classes, courses, trainings, and just random awesomeness that we do here. Um, so great. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, for another awesome and wonderful day. Um, so be well. Uh, keep listening to yourself. It's beautiful. Slan, slan.